This woman, Adrian, I love her. She's a doll. She drives me nuts, and I drive her nuts, and this is mostly my fault. We broke up also in Paris. I was arrested in Paris, and Adrian and I officially, we broke up. And it's uh, it's sad because I can't hold a relationship because I'm a crazy person. As I told you, a psychiatrist once told me that my mental illness will eventually take over my life. And yeah, I, I've I, had a taste of it. I'll have no control. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, no, I am. I am. I, eventually, he says, look, and the, no medication will help. You're beyond. I'm like the Irish. I'm impervious to the medication and the therapy. <laughs> that's what Freud said. Yeah, so, that's right. I, I, is, I, I must have Irish in me. I don't know what my old man was. Yeah, so a, I was. Cherokee. A, she got me so mad, and I went to this. She was with my friend. My friend said, why don't you calm down? I'll take her to a, a, a dinner and a show. And I said, okay. And I'm seething at the hotel, Hotel Lutetia in Paris. And I go there. I start screaming for her to come out of the event. Get out here, you F and C. Get out. I'm cr- I, like, I had a whiteout with anger, yeah, whatever you call it. I can't relate, but go ahead. Yeah. So the gendarmes come. <laughs> now, Dan was there, too. He was witness. The gendarmes come. These are the French police. Gendarmes? They, they go, that's what they call them, the gendarmes. It says Ooh, it on, that it, really makes my hair stand it up. It says it on the minivan. Sounds like the ice capade. When they're taking you away, it says it on the minivan. John, the ice capade. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they come over. The coolest cops I've ever experienced. They go, Monsieur. You have to come down. You have to come down, Monsieur. And I'm like, I know, I'm not coming down. F you, F you. So I, oh, I take the ugly American in yeah, Paris. I take like a swing. <laughs> I take a swing at a French cop. Oh I've taken God. a swing at an I'm LA cop. Out loud, Artie. I've taken a swing at LA cops. I've taken swings at New York cops. These gendarmes just ducked and went, Monsieur. They ducked and went, Monsieur. You have to come down. So I go at him again. I go, No, I want that effing woman out here. Blah blah blah. Dan tries to get involved. I, now Dan, I was in a whiteout. It Dan sounds says, like the last show we did. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, and I apologize. Well, no. Dan says Dan says that I threw him into traffic. Now, <laughs> Dan, did I throw you into traffic in France? I'm in Paris. Uh, you kicked me in the traffic. I'm sorry. How did I do that? Uh, you were on the ground, and Anthony and I were trying to pick Anthony you up. Anthony Boza, my co-author your, your of Two co-author. Fat to Fish. Yeah, okay, and I and I, th- and I you almost this is going to be in the book. It is. It'll be the last chapter. <laughs> The last chapter is going to be shirtless in Paris. It's going to be cool. So, so, because I'll tell you why. Because the cops, the gendarmes, then in the struggle, tore my shirt off. A beautiful. I bought a big and at a big and tall shop. I bought a dress shirt. <laughs> Jeffrey Bean. They have big and tall shops in in Paris. My, the average of guy is one hundred and ten. I got a gram. I got a oh, jersey. <laughs> To prepare for my Paris trip, I went to the <laughs> big and tall shop in Tom's River. <laughs> and I bought like five shirts. The guy goes, where are you going? I go, Paris. He goes, Paris, France. I said, yeah. He goes, you need about five shirts. <laughs> so I got dressed up because I was going to go to the show. I was seething because I love the woman. I'm a passionate lover. I have a lot of Italian in me. So I go there. The, the gendarmes, they, they rip my shirt off while I'm fighting them. Now I'm shirtless. It begins to pour rain. Poor rain, kind of romantic. Adrian's afraid to come out. The <laughs> security people, are, the security people are afraid to let me out and uh, let let Adrian out. They hide her in a room. They hit her. You sure it was raining? Was not Adrian's tears? <laughs> <laughs> it was God's and Dan's and God's. It was my tears. It and was God's. My, it was my father's tears <laughs> from him laughing so hard. <laughs> So so now the gendarmes, hand, they handcuff me. Yeah. They handcuff me while I'm laying in the middle of a the street. There's cabs going by. Dan almost got killed. They drag me to the side, and I'm sitting there in cargo pants and stupid shoes, shirtless, handcuffed in the gutter. In, in, the, in the fashion capital of the world. No, right? <laughs> People are going by, what is that? And I'm laying in the gutter, handcuffed in Paris. And I'm like, the, and the cops are so cool. Monsieur, just calm down. Just cut. what is that, Dan? Stop it. That was somebody's phone. A computer shut yeah. off. So, uh, so, so, uh, yeah. So now they say, just calm down. So they said to me, listen, you have no drugs in you. We test you, and you have no. Now they're Portuguese. Uh, <laughs> we have no drugs. You just he goes. You sleep. You sleep six hours. You leave. We leave, let you leave the jail. I'm like, okay, just be calm. So. I'm sitting in the rain in the gutter for about 20 minutes handcuffed. Then they put me in the paddy wagon, in the gendarme wagon. And I, I, I get taken off. Now, Dan, what happens? Then the guy who owned the burlesque show brought out champagne or something? What happened? Yes, he... Uh, they celebrated you... Getting arrested. Getting arrested. Yeah. He well, goes, champagne. The fight wasn't inside the show, though. No, no it was no, outside no, on the street. There was no, no fight. I, I. But they thought... The, the, the crowd in the show thought you were part of the show. <laughs> because that's what the owner said. He said that they thought that you were... Might as well, might as well have been Caroline's. Uh, Tony and Tina's wedding in France. That you were some guy it was that a they plant. hired. To... It was a plant. <laughs> it was a plant. 
because no. their, the burlesque show was all women, he, they thought it was part of the show, so they were just laughing at the so American. I'm like the obese fat guy that the women hate in the show? <laughs> Ugly okay. American, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I was the insane, I was the disgustingly ugly American. Well, so finally, after half an hour, they put me soaking wet, and I'm taking a leak in my pants because I had to go because the, the, the blood sugar came back because I had cocoa. It's a long story. And I, I, I get in the gendarme wagon. They take me to a, pol a police station. So they take me into the nurses, and, uh, and the nurses are saying, you, uh, why are you? I'm like, what do you mean? American... And they say, we're going to take your urine. So they give me a little thing, like, I don't know if penises are smaller or something. They give me, like, a little pill cup. And I'm like, I can't. urine's getting all over. I try to f I fill it up. I put the cap on. Yeah, they're small people. These women don't care. They take it. Yeah, the toilets. You can't sit. My, no, my small niece, people. in a hotel, I sit on the toilet, and everything's got to have a bidet. Yeah. So my knees are hitting a bidet while I'm, you know, whatever, evacuating. Yeah, they're, they're small. They are so I, I give them the urine. The, the, they find no drugs. Everything's fine. They go, okay, you, you're clean. Listen, just go in a cell and sleep. You're going to spend the night in a Paris jail, basically. And, and if you're okay and you're calm in the morning, we'll let you out. So I go in the cell. Now, I have a cellmate. It's like an old, it's like the Otis of uh, <laughs> France. Like the, the, and he's nuts. He's like about 62. He's got gray hair. I've been around. I've been to the joint. Gray hair, whatever. Well, and something scary about a, a nut who does uh, speaking like for a different. Well, yeah, it makes because it, more scary. it sounds nuts anyway. Yeah. When normal people sound nuts over there because they're speaking French. So he like in my face and he goes, he's like, le bleu, le beige, le bleu, le le beige, le <laughs> I'm getting scenes from uh, Midnight Express. Well, yeah. That that's type what of. I was starting to get a little scared. Yeah. He's in my face and like, you know, every French person sounds like this. Le bleu, le beige, le bleu, le le beige. In my face. He's ordering a cheese. So I'm like, I'm like, dude, just calm down. I, I call him dude. I go, just calm down. I call the, 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 the guard over, and I go, I think he belongs in, like, I go, la psych ward. Like, la psych ward. <laughs> I think he belongs. La psych ward? Right. So the guy goes, um, the guy goes, the guard goes, monsieur, you are in the psych ward. 